Hey guys, this is Jamie, and I'm going to talk about WWE's product. So, do you want to say anything? Hey guys, this is Nutty Rock Chick. Join you, join me for this vid. All right. So, I'm going to start off with saying, how would you improve some of the brands like <laughs> Raw? Um, well, Raw would balance out a little bit more. Um, I think they definitely need to put a lot more emphasis on the mid-card belt to maximise the use of their talent. Uh, I think a lot of people that, sh that aren't getting used sh who should be used um, and Raw's very top heavy at the moment. They've got so many people in what should be the main event and then they're not paying enough attention to the tag and the mid-card belts. Yeah, um... They should even it out on each brand. Uh, there's so many main eventers on Raw, and then on SmackDown, there's tons of mid carters. There's still some main eventers on there. I think they should have like the fans, the casual fans, the people that they like half on that brand, and then the other half of Raw should be like you know what we like, and then same for SmackDown. But uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I think they made Raw very top heavy. So with the guest host thing, I would definitely get, well, yeah, I definitely get rid of it because what's the point of having a general manager and a guest host? I mean, if we were to be like Stone Cold or somebody, I know he already guest host, but if we were to have been like The Rock or somebody, I wouldn't mind him, you know, being in the storylines or, you know, wrestling because it would be cool to really see him wrestle again. So what would you do with the guest host? I'm not particularly keen on the guest host, I must admit. I do much prefer it when it's sort of ex-wrestlers or at least people who really are fans. It kind of annoys me when they do, when they have people who come on purely to promote their product, not to promote the WWE as a product, if that makes sense. Yeah, so how would you improve SmackDown? I'd actually get them to push people and push them right because at the moment, even though SmackDown has the flip side to Raw where it's got a, a load of mid-carders and very few main eventers, they're not actually pushing the guys who are mid-carders that could be main eventers. It's like they've, they've still got Christian jobbing with Hornswoggle, which is just ridiculous. I mean, whoa. I was going to say, Christian is quite talented, and he should definitely be pushed instead of um, being pals with Hornswoggle, which is, ugh. Alright, so, who would you want to see guest host? Um, oh god. HBK, but that's because I'm a massive HBK mark. Um... I would quite actually like to see The Rock, although I was always a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, I would actually quite like to see The Rock do a guest host. Yeah, me too. Um, Wouldn't that be people, cool if the people in the YWC were the guest host? Yeah, I kind of, I've always sort of thought that they should do um, some sort of like quiz or a promotion thing and like have four fans, the top the people who get the like four highest scores win and then they can guest host for a week and have it like three or four so weeks. In the Y W C have like you can have like fans fans putting their input into the show, which I think would be really interesting to see. We'd put on some really good matches. Can you imagine like um T Slay or Spinnernet guest hosting oh, at the same uh, time? They'd kill each other. <laughs> It would be funny as fuck, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would be really funny. It would be funny. So, on the NXT invasion, well, NXT and everything, what is your thoughts on that? Um, I think they're doing the right thing by continuing it. I think that they're going to struggle to a certain degree without Daniel Bryan. But I think the way they handled it was quite good. I was actually quite impressed that Cena came up and said, turned up and said, like, Daniel Bryan shouldn't have been kicked out. That quite impressed me. I know. So that definitely says something. I I do hope kind of Daniel Bryan um, 
does come back. But you know, um, I hope they don't overdo the um, guest. Not I mean the um, NXT invasion. Although it really is interesting and cool to see. And even even John Cena said um, something about Daniel Bryan, and he also said something about Evan Bourne, saying yeah. saying so. I think you should listen to John Cena in that case. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I think hmm? as much as I as much as I, I I I am a Triple H fan to a certain degree, I think the product's better when he's not there. Um, because Cena genuinely wants to put people over. I think Cena's kind of taken the Shawn Michaels role in that sort of trip. Shawn Michaels relationship because Shawn was always the one saying we've got to push guys we've got to push guys we've got to push guys and Trip's always been the one who's sort of like I'll oh, push people I really like and that's it yeah so it, you kind of need a flip side to Trip's very shut down glass ceiling um, effect and I think Cena's is actually doing that at the moment which is quite nice to see mm -hmm. uh, what else to talk about Anything else you want to say about WWE's product? Um, I'm trying to think. I think generally, they, the last couple of weeks, they've kind of been heading in the right direction. I mean, granted, most of Raw has been a bit blah, but... Well, I think this week was definitely in, better than last week. Yeah, they are bringing in new talent. They're bringing in new talent. That's good, though. They're bringing in new tag teams. And um, this is what they needed to have done four years ago. Yeah, I don't think they should rely so much on in, in Raw. I don't think they should rely rely so much on their mid carters in NXT. They should definitely build their stars on SmackDown. Also, you know, definitely yeah. push uh, Christian or Evan Bourne, which I know he's on Raw. So yeah. But but for a long time, it's always been. Raw, Raw was glass ceiling central. Start built on SmackDown and then sent to Raw once they were big. Because mm -hmm. that's what happened with Cena. Cena was nobody. And but I think he, he was better as a heel. And got pushed to hell. And the second he left SmackDown, he came to Raw as major. Yeah. Yeah, CM Punk went from ECW all the way to Raw, so that's really good. Yeah, but CM Punk even didn't get the major, major push. That's true, but Until going from ECW to Raw that... is really good, though. So true. Um, any people that you would want to see winning the titles in the future? Um, well, you know I'm a big John Morrison fan, so I think they'd be probably be the top of my card. Uh, I can see Miz getting there. I really want to see Christian get a title. It's going to be really good. I really want to see Christian win a title, or at least get pushed. Because I'm really uh, sick of him seeing him, like, be with Hornswoggle, or, you know, just... It's complete bullshit, you know. Um, Christian's a really good wrestler, and I'd really like to see him get pushed. E even Evan Bourne cause should get, like a push or some sort of little title shot. He doesn't have to be winning world titles or anything, but... Yeah, see, I can, I can see Evan Bourne as a credible sort of US IC champion, but even I struggle seeing him as a world heavyweight champion. I think it's the fact that it has heavyweight on the belt, certainly on the SmackDown belt, less so on the WWE belt, but it, it, it's always had that emphasis on it. And I kind of like the fact they're trying to anti that at the moment. Yeah. I think there are a few people that could get away with it, Daniel Bryan being one of them. I think if you want to push smaller guys, they've got to be technically amazing. I have a question, though. Did you uh, sign the petition for Daniel Bryan? Yep, yeah, I've Fair signed about three of them so far. <laughs> All right, I looked the other day, it went from like 3,000 to like 9,000, so a lot of people are signing that. Um, uh, when I signed a couple that were on 11, 12,000, so... Oh my god, wow. Okay, so, um, how would you improve their, uh, pay-per-views? Dodie's pay-per-views? They I... need to... You see, I've, I've... The problem with WWE and pay-per-views is there's too many of them. Yeah. WWE pay-per-views were amazing when... 
there was for a year because you had three months to build up to this awesome amount of tension and really build storylines and they didn't give the way the matches on Raw you wouldn't see those matches until it hit that pay-per-view they also have to have good build-up though which Dirty does have that but and yeah, the definitely that, more time for their matches and the problem they like, have wait, is wait, like less, wait, wait, like less gimmicky pay-per-view names, and mm-hmm. less gimmicky um, pay-per-views. Anything else? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, I think the difference is having four weeks to build up a storyline and having three months to build up a storyline. You're not going to get the same intensity of storyline, and you're going to get repeats on matches. All right. Anything else you want to say before I end the video? Okay, okay, yeah, um, everybody check out, um, Nutty Ratchet, which is my channel, 